What's up, guys? What's up guys, Dita Cthulhu here, back at you with another video. So, something a little different. As you guys know, well, for those of you that play with me on Black Ops 4 quite frequently, you know I've been talking about a new custom controller that I ordered from Battle Beaver Customs. What they are is, they're not scuff, nothing like it. They're not like the Astro C40 controller. They use a base PlayStation 4 controller and customize it from there. You could do pre-built ones or you can do from the ground up. Whatever your preference is, and they have a little bit of everything. They are a modest company. They do not install mods. So if that's what you're looking for, you're going to have to find another company. They make honest controllers for honest gamers. So I've been waiting for this. Um, the turnaround time right now, if you purchase a controller um, it, and it's not pre-built it's going to be about two months um, they make it by hand with a custom team and everything and you definitely it's worth the wait uh, it's a little pricey I got 20% off they were running a deal so there's that um, I'm super excited uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this bad boy up and I'm going to go over the stuff that I had done to it so it makes sense at the end of the video, um, we're going to bring up the, the page of all the stuff listed. So if you guys like what you see, you can order it. Let's get this bad boy open. It's like a light Christmas. So, one of the options you do have when you order a controller from them is to get a case. Um, obviously, I got a case. I want to ensure the longevity of the life of the remote, so, or the control. So, um, I got a two-year warranty on this. It does, you know, you do have to pay for it a little bit extra, but it's worth it. It does not cover abuse. So, if you're somebody that likes to throw your controller up against the wall and stuff they're not stupid people they will be able to tell that and it will not be covered now you know, normal wear and tear will be covered under the warranty so let's get it open oh man nice styrofoam and everything so here you have it it's got some wrapping on it Let's take the wrapping off. So, let's break down the controller. So, on the front, as you can see, it's hydro dipped. Um, that's the more premium uh, option that you can do. You can't, if you go the cheaper route, um, you can't get the gripping on the side because the texture will make the gripping come off. So I wanted to go the higher quality route because I just wanted to get something that was aesthetically very pleasing to look at. We're, okay, so the D-pad, these are separated. As you see, when I push, it pushes just that single directional. What that is good for is fighting games. When you put uh, the inputs, you want to be able to execute the move without any issues, um, without hitting two buttons. This ensures that that does not happen by any means. The capture button and the start button, I got green. It, you could pick different colors if you want. You can pick different colors for directionals. I just wanted to go with a green. Um, that's sort of kind of a similar color that I use for a lot of my content. You know, uh, the Cthulhu-like skin color. So I got normal, um, normal uh, X, O, triangle, square buttons. Where we're gonna get into the crazy stuff is, first, these analog sticks. These have tension on them. You can get high tension, increased tension, 
and normal. Normal is what this is. You know, there's nothing. This, as you see, it does not move nearly as much. What it is, is the increased tension makes it to where, let's say you're playing an FPS game, uh, Call of Duty for example, and you like to run high sensitivity, sometimes when you're aiming, you go over your target and you miss. Very infuriating. With increased tension, it makes sure that you're more precise and that your character isn't whipping around. Obviously, you're going to have to play with your sensitivity quite a bit to try and uh, acclimate yourself with the increased tension. Uh, using it right now, it's not too much. I really like it. The analog sticks themselves are the pro version, so these are as good as they get. You can clearly tell that these are different from your average uh, PlayStation controller analog sticks. They're uh, longened. Uh, I got them a little longer, so it's more styled for uh, the first-person shooter games, and um, they're they're really nice quality. I don't foresee my uh, my fingers and stuff, you know, sliding off. Um, I got gripping on the left and the right side, so if you're someone like me, it's you know, if you know me, I I have a condition where I get really sweaty um, and my my hands especially get really sweaty and you'll start dropping the controller and that's no fun nobody nobody wants to drop the controller it sucks especially when you're in a firefight it sucks um, so the coolest feature of all this is going to be my L2 R2 L1 and R1 these are called smart bumpers I'm going to get really close so you guys can hear this. If you can hear that, get a little bit closer to. If you hear that click, these are keyboard quality bumpers. Um, it's meant to eliminate that... Uh, you know those times where you're using your controller and you know for a fact you hit the fire button, your R2 and whatnot? This eliminates that. There is no what if, ands, or buts. When you hit the input, it's going. It's meant to eliminate that issue. The response rate is supposed to be through the roof. And overall, I am super excited. I'm going to be transparent um, as far as what the cost was for what I got. It was $240. Now, people say, oh, that's a lot. But when you think about it, that's around the same price as the C40 um, from Astro Gaming. And it's around the same price as a Scuff Impact or really any of the other ones. And they're really prone to wear and tear. The good thing about Battle Beaver Customs is they use just the utmost quality parts and everything is made with such delicacy and care that their products do not really wear and tear um, as opposed to the competitors. If you look around there are plenty of videos where people have had these controllers for a year or two. They do follow-ups and everything is still absolutely working perfectly. Um, you're gonna notice the subtle, subtle differences um, right there is Battle Beaver Customs logo and the home button is Battle Beaver Customs. I wanted to go ahead and rep that since that's the company that made it. You have the option to go with the normal Sony button or Battle Beaver Customs. Hey, I, I like I said, I really want to rep the company that made this controller. Overall, I am super excited to use this. Um, I hope to capture some gameplay. Maybe I can figure something out where I get my um, my hand in it and everything. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a bit of a steep climb um, to get acclimated to using something completely different like this. But I hope it is really good for. Black Ops 4 and possibly Modern Warfare if I do pick that up again. 
For those of you that wonder why do people get custom controllers, it's not just to give people an edge. There are people with disabilities, as uh, for example, me uh, having rheumatoid uh, arthritis in my fingers makes it really hard to grip a controller and move really fast as opposed to someone that's younger that doesn't have the issues. Um, I don't have to do uh, jump through as many hoops as the next person. So um, it, it really helps. I'm overall super happy with the quality of this. They did a great job. Every day that I'm done playing, I'm probably going to be uh, putting this bad boy back in the case uh, just to ensure the longevity of the controller. And it actually has everything that I got. I want to go ahead and put on the screen at the end of this video everything I got done. If that sounds appealing to you guys. I encourage you to do research as far as what you guys personally want if you do go this route because if you model it after what I did and it's not stuff you don't want all the stuff you gotta pay for all of it because it's all different stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm super excited. I look forward to breaking this bad boy in over the next couple days and seeing what I can do. As always, smash that like button, and if you aren't already, please consider subscribing. I have plenty of content on my channel already, and I look forward to making many more videos and seeing some new smiling faces. Alright guys, till next time. Peace.